5.3 is about the alignment and border effects. And there are four sections in here, but again, because they're quite quick, I'm going to cover them all in the one video. So the key thing for about alignments and uh, setting up what's inside the cells is it's on the Home tab, and you've got the Alignment section here. You've got this section, which controls whether words and contents are aligned to at the top of the box, middle, or at the bottom. And if I stretch this one out, you can see what I mean. At the moment, that's aligned at the bottom. See the orange tab here? I can push it to the top, have it in the middle, or at the bottom. Similarly, we can have it on the left, the center, or the right-hand side. Now, it doesn't quite fit in the box, and that's where we're going to look at the next element, which is about text wrapping. Text wrapping, again, is in this alignment tab. And it simply means where this fractions is leaking out from B to B1 into C1, if we click on the wrap text, it makes sure it fits within the cell and makes the cell taller to allow it to do so. As well as that, we can change the orientation. That's the direction of the text, this tool here. Doesn't work particularly well there. I might have to make that a bit taller to actually get that to be visible. But you can have things go in many different directions. Again, so, so some do work better than others. But of course, it's uh, all relevant on what you're actually doing at that time. Going back to being normal. Merge cells. Well, I was going to highlight all this range and we can merge cells. The merge and center button's here, but notice there's a drop down on it. it gives you a whole range of other different types of merging that you can have. And of course, once you've centered it, you can just go back and align them yourself, wherever you like, within the merged group of cells. Border effects. Next door in the font section, we've got the borders here. Now again, you've got these presets. Nine times out of 10, though, you're not gonna have enough control just by choosing a, border set, a, a preset. So you're probably gonna have to go down to this more border at the bottom. And here you can choose the type, outside, inside, top, bottom, left, the kind of thickness that you want, and whatever color is you've been asked for. Um, because I've only highlighted one cell, there's only an outside, not an inside. I'll show you that again. If I highlight more than that, and this time we've got the ability to highlight all the inside ones as well.